Hey there, how's it going? It's me, the homie, Fashile. And, well, uh, not very widely known fact is that I really like Dungeons & Dragons. It's also no secret that I really like Final Fantasy. And I've played in a couple of campaigns. Most of them didn't go very well. And that's where I'm going to leave those at because that's an entirely different subject for video that isn't this but I've played in a lot I've watched a lot I've read a lot and I think it's safe to say that I am pretty invested in uh, d and culture if you will and over the months or rather I guess a little over what two years now I've just been consuming content on my own time and doing my research and whatnot and after, you know, enough not so great campaigns, I figured, you know what? Why don't I just make one of my own? And so, that's exactly what I did. I spent around, what, five and a half, almost six months putting together a Final Fantasy themed Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I have my own little rule book thing written up. It is. The truest extent of the term homebrew, which is pretty much you know making your custom game, custom story, custom classes, gameplay, whatever. I spent a really long time on it, and it started, and it's going pretty well so far. Uh, all my players are having fun. This is also my first time DMing. I'm learning the ins and outs of it, but it, it's pretty great. And well, I just I want to run my mouth and talk about it for a bit because the times where I find myself you know running my mouth about my campaign is not very often and so why figured I'd make a video on it where no one can you know no one can cut me off and interrupt me and blah 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 and yeah okay so moving on so like I said earlier uh, I spent about five and a half almost six months putting this thing together and the hardest part was the rule book because as you can see you know I'm scrolling through it and uh, I wanted to make it as similar to Final Fantasy as possible whilst also remaining in the realm of D&D 5e specifically because that's the only one I have the most experience with both watching and playing anyway and at first the very first draft of it was a single page this is what stats do because of spells go for it and I said you know what nah I'm not gonna do that so then I decided to sit down and think about all the Final Fantasy games that I have played the most all the Final Fantasy character class types that I know very well m minus you know that hunk on screen and then I wanted to include the Final Fantasies of which I know gameplay wise like the back of my hand. So characters like Cecil, Noctis, and Onion Knight. And I also took bits and pieces of what some of the characters do in the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia, which by the way, again, fantastic mobile game. You should play it. And I spent a really long time thinking about all of them and said, you know what? I need to come up with attacks, stats, ailments, uh, little special effects, things like that. I need to include the break. I want to include this. I want to include that. And for a while, I was like, man, this is a lot. And I was also like, wait a minute. This is my campaign. This is my game. I can do whatever I want with this. And then I went forth and did exactly that. Uh, yeah. So when I finished the rule book, it came out to, as you can see on screen, a whopping 61 pages. And that was originally just a single page. I was like, you know what? I'm pretty proud of this. I like this. This turned out really really well and then you know I 
shut the rulebook off to my players, and the week after, everything got to going, and it was nice. And uh, <laughs> I remember at first, when I first dropped the rulebook, everyone, everyone at the time that was present when I was like, hey, my rulebook is done, and people clicked the link, and it was like, oh my god, why is this so long? And I was like, uh, the official D&D player handbook is like, double this borderline triple this so like come on this is nothing and this is all for homebrew campaign that I put a lot of effort into so of course it's gonna be that long because my goal was to include as much detailed material and explain things as best as I could so that way I don't have to have a series of oh what does this do what does that do how does this work how does that work and I'm just like hey look at the rule book the rules are there the stats are there every skill that your character gets is there how they work is there and uh, yeah so speaking of what the individual character types that we have in the campaign, as far as players go. We have Final Fantasy 2 representative, Wild Rose, Varian, Homie. We've got Noctis, Final Fantasy 15, the Homie. We've got Final Fantasy 10, Yuna, Faithwalker, Gun, Chick. I got distracting about how cool she is. And then we've got uh, Samurai. That I have a picture of Reen Shores of because he was the first person that came to mind. Cause like you know what? Yep, this is who I want. This is gonna be my representative. And a large majority of the samurai abilities are based off of pre-existing things in Final Fantasy. Yes, but the rest are based off of. You know what Green himself does in Trails of Ghost too, but this isn't about Trails. This is about Final Fantasy and where I drew my inspiration and whatnot from. And speaking of things I've drawn inspiration from, I've got quite a few references in this campaign. Like I've got Full Metal Alchemist references. I've got Digimon references. I've got Dragon Ball Z references. I've got uh, there's a Sonic reference in here somewhere. I've also got a Code Geass reference somewhere in here. I'm not telling you where they are. And it's pretty much everything that I like and I find myself calling back to or going back to. It's in my campaign somewhere. And things like classes and gameplay, etc., etc. And on the gameplay note, the level cap in my campaign is level 50. I figured I'd have it set to that because my original idea was closer to 100. And then I said, you know what? Let's dial that back a bit. By a lot. And so I did. And for a large majority of the classes, specifically the... Final Fantasy 1 classes uh, as a direct callback to Final Fantasy 1 you go find Bahamut go acquire a rat's tail as a proof of courage I still don't understand why that was the proof of courage but regardless go do that and bada bing bada boom upgrade and all of the Final Fantasy 1 classes with the exception of fighter Upgrade into Final Fantasy 14 classes. So Elementalist becomes Black Mage, Battle Mage becomes Red Mage, Thief becomes Ninja, etc. etc. Conjurer becomes White Mage. Yeah. And I figure, again, as I stated earlier, I want to make as much of a Final Fantasy game inside of DD as possible. And you know, I've, I've done that pretty well. Uh, my players are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. It's my first time DMing. So learning things. 
uh, it's some people's first time playing D&D properly and again going back to the whole level system I am using the standard EXP system because I have quickly come to realize I hate I want to repeat I hate the milestone system I cannot stand the milestone system because there have been plenty of campaigns that I've played and I was stuck at level 2 for like I don't know a month longer than a month and it's like you know I would like to get stronger at some point but oh no you level up when I say you level up and it's not fun I hate it that's why I'm not doing it and uh, my exp table is just you need 5,000 exp level up and that's it all you need it will never ever 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 change and speaking of getting stronger and whatnot I have things like you know every time you eat you get stronger like most of the meals I have in my campaign when you know the party sits down somewhere and they actually eat something they will get a stat increase you know that's how it is because I like my RPGs to where I can get as strong as possible because I like number crunching I am power hungry I want to be the strongest thing in existence when I play my RPGs and I figure since this is my campaign I want my players to also be as strong as possible within reason that they can attain and well that is why I believe one of my characters highest stat is like a 34 35 something in strength you know and uh, the reasoning for that is because every enemy I have meticulously handcrafted and well some of them can uh, be well to most people they would be unreasonably powerful but to the party it'd be like ah you know it's just another Tuesday no big deal speaking of no big deals so I'm not going to give a spoiler warning for this but the general premise of my campaign and story is the party that is going along they had their world destroyed by a interdimensional creature called the devourer the devourer mm, how do I want to explain this the devourer just decides oh hey look I'm going to consume this dimension kill all its inhabitants and take whatever small minuscule of power is there for myself and that's what happened to the party their home dimension was a place called Lufenia the city that they lived in was called Atlantis there was the upper Atlantis there was a the lower Atlantis upper Atlantis was the entertainment district business district caught myself with that one haha and lower Atlantis was where most of the cultural things happened so like festivals and restaurants etc etc it was a little nice and old boy just decided all right y'all gotta go goodbye and in the very first session everybody died and then they met one of many gods who gave them a second chance at life told them who the destroyer was why it happened how it happened and, they, and he imparted the knowledge on the party that he can indeed be killed but it will be a long and arduous process and it will require you to have strength said strength is hidden within your soul and so he unlocked the dormant power within them being their classes and he sent them forth to a world called Palamecia where everything started and the reason I didn't give a spoiler warning, just want to give a general overview, is because I am still on the fence about uploading the sessions to my channel. Because, well, one, uh, I decided to record them in a matter of like you don't have to watch anything, you can just 
sit down, chill, listen to it. Uh, two, all of them are at least two hours long. And lastly, my channel isn't centered around Dungeons and Dragons content. It's, you know, RPGs, JRPGs, me talking about games I like, MMOs, Final Fantasy, Trails, etc. So, I don't know. I might do it. I'm probably going to do it at some point. But, yeah, I record all my sessions. I write up summaries for all of them. And I suppose that whenever I do get around to uploading them, I will put the summaries for each session in the description. So, you can read that and listen to it and go on about your day. And, uh... As far as the future for my campaign, I, oh boy, I cannot wait until the party gets stronger and stronger and stronger and they get closer to the level cap because the samurai in our party, at some point, they are going to be dipping and darting and dashing and flipping around the battlefield like a really pissed off Virgil. And it's going to be an amazing sight to see. And when my party gets access to things like rarer weapons, stronger weapons, their ultimate armors and gear and accessories and whatnot, I have meticulously planned out every single little itty bitty thing. And it's all very easily flexible. It's not like static, it's just that's there, that's gonna happen here, that's there, that's there. If something changes, cool. And if, you know, my players want to get a little spicy with it, that's cool too. I can work around that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of fun putting this together. I have a lot of fun uh, guiding every session and uh, seeing everybody react to things and commenting on what they like and what they didn't like, giving me constructive criticism and whatnot. And all in all, it's been it's been a really good experience. And uh, yeah, that's all I've got to say for now. Uh, thanks for listening to me gush for however long this turns out to be about my homebrew Final Fantasy campaign. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you around. See ya.